trust Says on the film From Big Bust Make it a thrill Make them steal your life Dominate your goals Make a drop and strike Hi there, Johnny here from johnnylipsonstudios.co.uk and in today's video, this is episode two, we are going to be carrying on with mixing Paper Deity, my song from my 2016 EP Belonging to Tomorrow, and in this episode we're going to be focusing primarily on the mix bus, master fader, main output, and any other name you might call it. Some might probably even call it Gerald. I'm not going to call it Gerald, I'm going to call it the Mix Bus, but uh, occasionally I'll call it Master Fader, so. But don't really worry about the name for it. Uh, that's my point. So this is where we're gonna start. We're gonna start over here on this channel highlighted here. And I'm gonna set up some plugins on here that I mix through. So we are gonna have a little bit of EQ, little bit of compression and we're going to run both of those into a tape machine emulator so I know I've got a really nice tape machine that I like to use and we're going to make this uh, mix sound really really good from the get-go um, just with three little plugins and then once we've kind of shaped a nice overall sound for this song we are going to mix through that and essentially we set those and we forget them and we just move on to the rest of the mix but we will periodically at, at certain points as we start processing we start adding gain we will maybe have to go back uh, to the mix bus and just uh, make one or two very very small adjustments but everything on the mix bus here should be pretty subtle and so we may not have to do that we'll have to see how we go all right so let's make a start so we're going to start with a little bit of tape machine and then we'll do some compression then we'll follow that up with some EQ. Uh, I know it kind of sounds backwards doing it that way but um, that's where I'm going to do it today. So we're going to go down and we're going to get the tape machine. Now the tape machine I use is the Waves J37 which is modeled after a tape machine made famous at Abbey Road Studios in London. I've been to that studio on a good number of occasions because uh, I used to live in London, used to work there and um, I didn't actually work at Abbey Road, but I certainly worked in London and uh, I certainly have done some work at Abbey Road as a session musician and seen these tape machines for myself. They're awesome. So let's get this guy in here, into the inserts, and here she is. And what we're going to do is we're going to play the song from maybe uh, here-ish. And uh, we're going to roll the tape. This is kind of like the chorus area. So there's a lot going on there, and I'm going to dial this up. Now these two guys are balanced, which basically means the more I drive this up, uh, the more the output gets turned down. Okay, so it's it's pretty simple. Uh, and we're not going to hit the tape too hard, uh, at least not for now anyway. Um, and the reason being for that is that as we go, we're going to be adding gain to the signal, uh, and we don't want to hit the tape too hard whilst we're in this early phase of the mix um, because we might end up overdoing it and then the, the mix will be oversaturated which is not what I want for this particular song. All right, so let's play and let's dial this up. Steal no trade Your soul for bands to burn In God we trust Says on the film From doom bust Make it a thrill Okay, cool. That's uh, sounding pretty good to me. That's uh, kind of how I want to leave it for now. Kind of not really getting too terribly close to zero dB and the red up here, which is good, not what we want. Uh, and I've left everything basically in their default settings apart from turning uh, up the input level. Uh, and I can certainly get into kind of like the tape speeds and the tape formulas um, and the bias and all of that and all of these controls uh, on a much more detailed video. And this really is dealing with the mix rather than this particular tape machine. Um, so maybe in another video I will kind of um, delve into the J37. Okay, so that's that. 
Next thing we're going to reach for is the Personas Fat Channel uh, and some of the new analog um, modeled uh, compressors and EQs that are in there. And we're going to grab a particular compressor, which I really like the sound of. So we're going to hit this button here. Sorry, missed it. That's the one I wanted. And we're going to go down to the Brit Comp. Uh, this is the one I really like. And uh, when it, it's, it, I think this is modeled off um, an SSL bus compressor. And so what we're going to do is we're going to turn this makeup gain to zero. And we're going to keep it at two to one. I'm going to keep this at um, the slowest um, attack. Uh, it's set to 300 millisecond release right now, but I'm going to turn that to 100. These are just the settings that I like personally. And what we're going to do is we're going to play from the same spot. And we're going to look to just basically just kiss the needle, get the needle moving just ever so slightly. Uh, and then we will leave it at that. Okay, here we go. Steal no trade, your soul for bands to burn. Ain't got a trust, says on the bill, from boom bust. Make it a thrill, make them steal your life, dominate your goals, make a trouble and strife, seek another soul, this little paper deity. Make a trouble and strife, seek another soul, this little paper deity. Make a trouble and strife Seek another soul This little paper deity Alright So we're only just moving this needle a little bit It's kind of, I was going over that last line a little bit uh, A couple of times there Because I wanted to actually see how far this needle was going up um, So that I could decide how much I want it to go up And then how much makeup gain I wanted to have so I think that sounds pretty good. I'm just going to do a quick AB just on that last line, just to make sure we we are level matched. Okay, and without. And with. There we go. It's pretty subtle, folks. So um, really, for this, you ought to be uh, listening to this on uh, studio monitors or a good pair of studio-grade uh, headphones that have a nice flat frequency response. Uh, and hopefully, you'll be able to hear some of those differences there. Now, I level match that. And um, to me, that sounds very much like I want it to, with uh, the kick, dr kick drum sounding a little bit beefier and the snare drum coming forward a little bit more. Uh, and certainly the vocal coming forward a little bit more as well and it just pulls the whole mix together that's the general idea and then we're going to mix through these um, but the next thing I want to do and I don't do this on every mix uh, by any means but the next thing I want to do is I want to get a little bit of very very subtle EQ just to basically shape the overall tone of this mix as I say I don't do this on every mix but I'm going to do this on this one um, just basically to show you how it's done um, uh, because a lot of uh, mix engineers they will have a little bit of EQ on their on their mix bus um, to basically shape the overall tone of, of the overall tone of their mix I should say uh, and that's what I'm gonna try and do with this mix now when I originally mixed this in 2016 I did not do that in fact in 2016 I didn't have a tape machine um, I mixed this basically using four Studio One stock plugins. I used the Pro EQ, uh, the compressor, the room reverb, and the analog delay. And I didn't use anything else. So we're going to use a lot more plugins on this mix. This is going to be a little bit of a different sounding mix. And then right at the very, very end, the very last video, we're going to pull in my original mix. And we're going to compare the two. Uh, we're going to compare this mix, the 2019 mix, with the 2016 mix. And uh, then in the comments on that video, you guys can decide amongst yourselves which one you prefer and which one you think is a better mix. 
and hopefully this one will be a better mix. All right, so let's get into the EQ. So we're gonna grab the native uh, Pro EQ, and we're gonna put this in front of the Fat Channel Compressor. Here we go. And we're just gonna do some very, very subtle moves here. We're not talking massive uh, cuts or massive boosts because everything is going to the mix bus. So if I pull something out drastically, then that's going to be pulled out of every channel that's, that's summed to this uh, mix bus. We don't want to do that too drastically because then, you know, that really does affect the mix massively. If I pulled out like 4 dB of 500, you would notice that very quickly. Um, I'll show you what I mean. So that's uh, 7 dB at, at 519, and that's already made a drastic difference, which is, of course, a lot more than we would ever really want. Um, you know, I don't want that at all, so I'm going to return that to default. There we go. So we really want to be only doing, at the most, 2 dB of any boost or any cut. So uh, let's go back to that uh, same point and we'll uh, roll tape and we will uh, make a few adjustments just to shape the overall sound of this mix. Here we go. Steal no trade, your soul for bands to burn. Ain't got a trust, says on the bill. From doom bust, make it a thrill. Make can steal your life, dominate your gold. Make a trouble and strife Seek another soul This little paper deity Let's go and flash the plastic Blow it all on hot girls and wheels Let's do something drastic Okay, let's go back to that same point, that chorus again, and now that we've made uh, a, a few tiny little bumps and tiny little cuts, uh, let's uh, just do a quick A, B and see um, if we've actually improved this or not. So we'll start with out and then we'll bring it in. Steal or trade, your soul for bands to burn, ain't got a trust, says on the bill, from doom bust. Make it a thrill And out Make them steal your life Dominate your goals Make a trouble and strife Seek another soul This little paper deity Okay, let's go again Steal or trade So that's without Soul for bands to burn Ain't got a trust With Says on the bill From doom bust Make it Thrill. Without Make and steal your life Dominate your goal And with Make a trouble and strife Seek another soul This little paper deity Okay, so to me, um, we've opened up a little bit of the bottom end We've rounded out the kick drum, we've rounded out the bass guitar um, And that sounds nice and punchy down at the low end and then this uh, this one here is probably the one that you can hear the most at 3K, where I've done a little 1.4 dB boost here, and that's just opened up uh, the upper mids uh, nicely, brought out maybe a little bit of the uh, the ride cymbal in particular has come through. Um, we get a little bit of uh, warmth from the vocal. And then I made this little cut down here, about 364, uh, about 1.4 again. Uh, and this this little move here... Uh, was designed really to um, to deal with the uh, Fender Rhodes in particular. The Fender Rhodes has a bit of a bump, a bit of a build up around this 350 to 400 area. So I wanted to try and split the difference between 350 and 450. Um, so I, I kind of went for around about 360-ish uh, and ended up with 364. Um, to pull that out a little bit and get that kind of tucked back in a little bit because the Fender Rhodes can overwhelm that area and of course um, it's going to uh, fight a little bit with the bass guitar um, with the sort of the upper 
um, parts of, of the, the tone of the bass guitar. Uh, so we don't want that. We don't want that kind of low mid area getting muddied up too terribly much. So if I can kind of snag some of that at the mix bus end, it means that when we come to actually doing individual processing on individual channels, we're doing a bit less. Again, we're doing a little bit less. So we're kind of going for overall shaping of the whole song here on the mix bus, um, which will mean that we will have to do less scooping on individual channels. We'll still have to do some. I'll still have to do a little bit of taming on that Fender Rhodes again. Uh, and, uh, you know, so that it's not getting in the way of um, that uh, area of the bass guitar and the snare drum, because that's where there is a little bit of a bottleneck, because the snare drum is nice and beefy around about 200. Um, and then, of course, you've got the Fender Rhodes occupying that kind of low mid area, um, which can really make the bass start to sound a bit woofy and a bit muddy as well. So we want that low end to be kind of that low mid area to be present, but not out of control. And so if I can shape that at the mix bus end, it means we've got a lot less to do on the individual channels. So uh, that's kind of where I start my mix. A bit of EQ, a little bit of compression, 30 millisecond attack, 100 millisecond release, just barely kissing the needle, maybe doing one and one and a half dB of gain reduction. Tape machine. Uh, at the moment, we've got it fairly balanced at zero in, zero out. And this needle is going up to almost uh, the start of the red area, but not quite. Uh, and that's good for me right now. I may tame this back as we go through the mix so we're not hitting the tape machine too hard because I want the tape machine to be there and to give the nice kind of all those nice aspects of tape that, that we all like and love I want all of that but I don't want it to be obvious I want it to be subtle I want it to be just something that just adds a little bit of a tape warmth uh, and maybe a, a just a hair of saturation but only a hair um, because I think any more and we'll start to make this song break up uh, particularly uh, around the symbols and sibilant area. That's kind of where I'm concerned at the moment, that um, if we do too much saturation, that's really where it's going to show. And I don't want it to be too crispy and too broken up at that area. So we'll leave the tape machine as is, and then maybe as we go through the mix, we'll revisit it. So, And I'm not afraid to make changes. Uh, and so you'll, you'll see me in this mix... Uh, over the course of these videos, you'll see me make mistakes. You'll see me do make a move and then decide against it or decide that something isn't working and abandon um, a particular plugin because it's just not doing what I want it to do. And that's all part of the process. Um, it's it's all kind of like, what is the song telling me to do? And, you know, I don't always get it right first time. Uh, and so it means that I will work on something and then go, yeah, I don't really like that. So I'll abandon it and I'll go back to, to it at a later point or I'll uh, change tack. So you will see me do that and that's all part of the process, folks. So uh, on that note, uh, we are going to leave it there and I'm going to say thank you very much for um, watching. If you found this useful, please do hit the like button. If you are not a subscriber to my channel yet, please do hit the subscribe button and hit the, no uh, the wee notification bell. By doing so, you will know when the next uh, video comes out in this series and any other videos that I do. Also, uh, I do a weekly live stream on Sundays at 6 p.m. Central Time. And if you have any questions from uh, this video, please uh, do come in out on the show and you can drop your questions in there. Um, but also be, feel free to drop questions into the comments below this video as well. Uh, I do read every comment and I'll try and answer them either there or if if I think it's it's something that everybody could learn from, then maybe I will make it a talking point in my show on Sunday. So uh, I hope you found this helpful and useful. And until next time, bye for now. Trust says on the film from the bust make it a thrill that can steal your life and dominate your goals make a drop and strike